Hey students, uh, today uh, I wanted to go into how you can use Kirimoto uh, to slice designs directly from your Chromebook and send them to our 3D printers to 3D print. Kirimoto is cloud-based and can allow you to slice your, uh, slice your designs. Now, uh, an important um, definition, so slicing your designs essentially converts uh, your Tinkercad or your SketchUp designs uh, into a file type that our 3D printers understand. So you're first going to start with Tinkercad. Um, you're going to go into your designs. I'm going to look at Enrique's design here and I'm going to click on download. Now when I click on download I am going to click on the STL file type. The STL file type is right here. Now I'm going to then open up Kirimoto. You'll see it's grids uh, dot space slash Kiri. Um, and um, now that I have Kiri Moto up, uh, there are a few things that, a few settings you're gonna have to adjust to here. You're gonna wanna first start with your setup. Now we have a Flash Forge Adventurer 3 and a Dremel uh, 3D printer here. We're going to set up for the Flash Forge. Now most slicers are specific to your 3D printer hardware. Since this slicer is more general, we need to set it up so that it is slicing specific for our 3D printer. Now I'm gonna go up to setup, I'm gonna click on machine. Now they don't have an Adventurer 3 light, which like we have, but they do have a Flash Forge Finder. We're gonna click on Flash Forge Finder, we're gonna click customize, and then we're gonna click export. Since uh, this isn't for a Flash Forge Adventurer, it's for a Flash Forge Finder, we're gonna have to make some adjustments. Um, so we're gonna go to our right side menu over here to infill, and we're gonna change the fill amounts to 0.35 and, um, on fill amount and 0.35 on shell overlap if uh, it's not already set up like that. Once we have that set up, you can now import your file. So now we're gonna take the file that we downloaded from Tinkercad and we're going to upload it to Kiri. So we're gonna to go to Files and Import on Kiri Moto. Now if you're on a Chromebook, you might have to click on Google Drive on the side left here to find your STL file. Here I'm going to click on um, Horizon 3D Designs and once I click on that, I'm going to find Enrique's roller coaster. And there it is. So you see Enrique's roller coaster here. Um, with this design, however, I need to make it a little smaller. Um, so to adjust the size of your prints, you're gonna go to Tools. You're gonna go to Scale. And I'm gonna put it at 0.25. That's a little small. Um, you have some ability to adjust. That looks a little better at 0.35. Now, here is one of the quirky things about this. Um, so today, when my students and I were printing, we found that in order to print on our uh, Flash Forge Adventurer, we had to move our designs to the bottom left quadrant right here. We're gonna go over to uh, Support. I'm gonna click on Automatic and Detect. And you'll notice it has uh, already filled in supports for me um, so that the 3D print doesn't fall over, so that the 3D print is able to print successfully. All right, the next thing I'm gonna wanna do in setup is I wanna make sure when I click setup and go to machine, I wanna make sure that the volume is set correctly. Um, the volume of this printer is actually 150 by 150 by 150. You always want to double check to make sure that when you are slicing something, it fits the size of your 3D printer. All right, so once that is loaded, I'm going to click Save. Once you have this design, um, you um, have it loaded into Curie, you have your supports in place, it looks like it'll be able to print. You can now export it. So you can go back to Start, click Export. It gives you a time estimate. This would be under 30 minutes. It's a very simple print. And now it has a G code that you can download you will then go to Google Classroom. You can click on your design project and you're going to click Add or Create and then you're gonna click File. You are then going to find the G-code file because uh, Kirimoto just converted that STL file to a G-code file. Um, and the G-code file is what our 3D printers understand and what our 3D printers can print. Once you've turned in your assignment, um, you're on the list for a 3D print and you'll be able to 3D print your design in class. All right, best of luck students.